Um, downloading data from the Danish statistical office is a rather simple operation. Um, we take a web browser and send it to Statistik Banken. That's uh, this one here. And it's a good idea to have a username and a password. It's free, they don't spam you, so let's create one. The only difference is that if you have one, you can download larger data sets than if you don't. And they will offer once a year a course in how to use the data set. So that's fine. I'll just log in and I will find some data we can look at. Let's look at population. And um, I can send it to English, show it to speak English, or show its text in English. Um, so we could look at the population in Denmark, and we have by age six, count and so origin citizenship. So that's the population on the 1st of January. And we also have one for each of the first of the quarter of the year. So of course that's a bit more uh, frequently updated. So let's take this one. The interesting thing is, if we, before we before I start on that, if I just look at my data set here, what you should be looking for when you use um, the Institute of Office that here, oh, on the left side you have some main subjects, and they are then expanded into subjects here. So we have a population, which is population here, and then we have all our sub areas here. And the ones that we're interested in are the ones that have things like municipality, country, parish, municipality, so spatial units. If they have not, if it doesn't have the name of any type of spatial unit in the table description, it's not really worth using in QGIS because it can't be mapped. So look for things that say something about um, a unit, such as in this case, it had by municipality. So here we have our units, uh, some 105 different units we can choose between. And what we have to do is they have to be selected. So we have to select all of the municipalities. Could be tedious, but up here it has more options and we can go in and say select specifically all municipalities. Do we want to know how many men and female? Yes, please. Um, do we want to know their age? Well, if you don't want to distinguish between different age groups, we can leave them um, out. We can say, okay, I want to know how many have any marital stages. If you don't want no marital stages, we'll leave them out. Person, we can then choose between are they persons of Danish origin or immigrants or descendants of immigrants? What is their country of origin? What citizenship do they have? And what quarter? And we have here the third quarter of 2015. And I just want the classical map of men and female. And I don't want to distinguish between anything else. So I'll say that's fine. Give me this data set. And it will then prepare this data table for me. What I should note is that I want, if you remember from the slide about how we should structure the Excel spreadsheet, we want one row for each of our spatial units and one column for each of our attributes. That almost looks right. The only problem is that we have this uh, year here. So what I'll do is I'll go in and choose my pivot and pivot by drag and drop and I want to be quite sure that the only thing I've got down on my rows is my spatial unit. So now I've only got my spatial units there. That's all I want. And very, very importantly is you say I want codes in a separate column. So that's what I need to join on. And I can choose different formats. I just use the newest Excel and opened it. So now I've got my data and you can see it's almost ready. I just say enable editing, the security of, of, our, of Excel. I get rid of some of those lines I don't need, don't want that. 
and I don't want those like that and I call it code and windy name so my data is uh, ready now let's see if there's any nasty thing hit footers nope so I can simply save my data yeah I, I want to save as and my computer and my GIS data and I'll just call it population 2015 Q3 and I can now load that into my QGIS so uh, as easy as this of course to drag and drop it so I got it there and I drag it down to QGIS got it into QGIS now if I look at my layers there and I'll just get my municipality layer again and uh, zoom to its layers and now I oh nice coordinate system um, set the coordinate system there and join the two data sets if I'm in doubt I can look and I have Mooney code on with an underscore under that's the number and Mooney code one that's the text and what I got here is a text so it's a money code one I need to join on so go in here say properties join add the join money code that's a code go into money code one and fine and okay and if I use my eye tool and click on something it should hopefully say how many men and female were that so that's fine the data is in of course nothing happens um, nothing will be displayed because we haven't asked QGIS to change its display if we do that say properties and our styling change it to gradiated use uh, calculation of how many males per female sex ratio classify it uh, choose another color scheme going from uh, blue that is if there are men if the number is large it should be blue uh, if it's a low number so that it should be red so this is the wrong way around um, there it worked so that's right now and now we can see the distribution of males and females uh, throughout the country of Denmark and uh, if I chose a bit more as I talked about it would be nice to use in our classification system so I always prefer to do a uh, quartiles and I'll just say 10 so 10% 10 in each is it classified and okay so that gives us a bit easier to read image of uh, The Danish uh, sex ratio. So females, are, as we know, urban phenomena, and men they live out in the countryside. So that was da downloading data from the St Danish Statistical Office.